Now this problem was sent to me by a student and uh, he has also given the answers and, uh, and all these problems are on simple interest. So let's read the first question. Okay, what does it say? Uh, if 900 rupees amounts to 1044 in four years, what sum will amount to 1368 in three and a half years at the same rate? Okay, so there are two situations here. So let's first look at the first situation. So here we can see that the principal is uh, rupees 900. Principal is 900. The amount is, let's write what is given. The amount is 1044. Amount is principal plus interest. So the number of years n is four years. We don't know the rate. Okay, the second situation is uh, we want to find the principal. That's what the question is. We want to find what principal will amount to 1,368 rupees. And the number of year is three and a half years. That is 3.5 years. So this is the whole question, four years, and this is sorry, three and a half years, and this is four years. So let's look at this first, and then we'll go here. Now from this, can we say what's the interest? So the in interest is interest is amount minus principal, amount minus principal, which is one thousand forty-four minus nine hundred. So 1,000 minus 900 is 100, and you got 144 rupees is the interest. So 144 is the interest on 900 for four years. So, so what's the interest on one year? Interest, I'll write in short. So this is 144 is the interest on 900 for four years. So can I write interest on rupees 900? For four years, for one year, for one year would be 144 divided by four. One div 144 divided by four. So let me half this. So let me write it down. So this is 72 divided by two. So that is 36 rupees. So interest on 900 for one year is 36. So now let's ask the question: What's the interest? on 100, on 100 for one year, for one year. This is the interest, this 36 is the interest on 900 for one year. So the interest on 100 for one year would be 36 divided by nine, which is four. So the rate of interest is 4%. So in other words, the rate at which 900 becomes 1,044 is 4%. So let's confirm that. I'll use my calculator. So interest, I hope you know the formula of interest is, interest is P times R, PRN over 100. This is a simple formula. Now you don't need this formula. Uh, but this is a good formula to remember. So this is 900, 9,000 times rate is 4. The number of years, number of years is also 4 divided by 100. Okay, so this is, nine, this is 90, uh, 900, not 9,000, sorry, it's not 9,000, so if I do 900, so let me do it properly to confirm whether the answer that we got is right or, uh, right or wrong, so this is 900 times rate is 4, and number of years is also 4 divided by 100, and here we got, so which is 9 times 16, which is 144. Okay, so our answer is right. 144 rupees. Okay, so we will use the same rate. So, uh, yeah, your interest, so okay, so yeah, we'll have to work it out. Okay, so 
we want to find the principal here. So what are we going to do? So if suppose let's say let principal let p be equal to rupees hundred. Let p be equal to hundred. And interest, the interest would be hundred times uh, r is four times number of years is two point five divided by hundred. So four times, so this is 100 and 100 can cancel. So interest is four times 3.5, four times three and a half. I don't want to use a calculator as far as possible. So this is four times three is 12 plus four times half is two. So interest is 14 rupees. The interest is 14. So the amount is 114 rupees. 114 is your amount. Okay, so now we're going to use a simple proportion. So let's make two columns. So let's write, uh, we want to find principal, principal and amount. So we know when principal was 100, it became at the rate of 4%, 114. But we know uh, the amount that we have is 1,300. 68, 1,368, so x is the, let's say x is the um, uh, principle that we want to find. So the ratio of this would be equal to the ratio of this. I can say x over 100 is equal to 1,368 over 114. Now cross or multiplying both sides by 100, the x, which is the principle that we want, is 1,368 times 100 divided by 114. Now I'll use my calculator. You can do without a calculator. So it's 1,368 times 100. You can use a simple calculator divided by 114. That's 1,200 rupees. Okay, so this is your principal is rupees 1200. And you can confirm backwards. Okay, if you confirm, if you, uh, let's use the calculator. So PRN time over 100, so 1200 times 4 times 3.5 divided by 100. So it will give you 168 is the interest. And 1,200 plus 168 is 1,368.